Heavy bag boxing TV. Y'all make sure you go somewhere to my man, heavy bag boxing, baby. Get your dumb ass in here, hit this bag. The heavy bag boxing TV. Y'all just go ahead and subscribe to heavy bag boxing TV because he be lit on his channel. And heavy bag boxing. And heavy bag boxing TV. Yo, shout out to heavy bag boxing TV. Heavy bag boxing TV. Heavy bag boxing TV. What up, YouTube? Big T.O. Heavy Bad Boxing TV, man. If you don't get your big goofy ass in here and hit the bag, hit that like button for your boy. That helps the channel. You know, I appreciate that love. Shout out my gang, my bag hitters. Y'all know the count. Big shout out Sean the Don, my only member. I truly, truly appreciate you, boy. Tyree Celestine, D1's Boxing. Uh, Coco, of course, my guy, Troy Jack. My Aussie family, uh, uh, Mark Wynn, man. You know the count, man. I appreciate y'all. Now, Tim Zoo. I've told y'all a hundred times on this channel. If you pay attention to the channel, I've been riding high on Tim Zoo. Um, I really think he's a, a true threat to anybody at um, 154 pounds. Um, with the size, the power, and the skill set, he just posed a lot of problems for anybody, in my humbled opinion. Now, he just uh, recently did an exclusive interview with Fox Sports, um, and it grabbed my attention. Why? Because this is somebody who just blatantly called the top fighters pussies at 54, right? Just straight flat out. And in that interview, he was asked, he says, listen, uh, it's now been two weeks since you branded some of the America's, uh, America's biggest fight stars pussies at the launch of the uh, Thurman fight. What's been a blow? What's, what's, what's the blowback been like? Right, since he's been in Vegas. Now, mind you, Tim Zoo is now staying in Vegas, especially approaching his big fight um, March 30th uh, um, in his big Las Vegas debut. Um, he said, man, listen, no one said anything to me because no one can argue it. Um, it isn't like it's something I'm just making up or something I'm just saying to build a fight. Um, it's fact. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, um, I know the closer you get to fighting elite guys, the fewer fights you can make. I get that. But we've also got guys now uh, who disappear on honeymoon honeymoons. Uh, they have no drive. Don't stay active. There are a lot of fighters uh, that com that comment was directed at. And he says, uh, you want to share some names? Uh, asking Tim Zoo. He says, listen, well, Charlo is one of them. Earl Spence Jr. a bit too, although at least he's trying to make big fights. Then you've got Keith Thurman. He's another one. He says, uh, thoughts on Thurman calling you a slow, uh, flat footed Mexican <laughs> at the fight lunch. Uh, he says, listen, I'm not sure what he's implying there. Maybe he thinks I'm easy to hit. What I do know is when I said something back to him, uh, when I defended the Mexican style that has been around for centuries, he started backing out of the comment like he knew he messed up. He says, uh, still did a lot of talking that day. He says, uh, this guy doesn't think before he speaks. His uh, bill to fight Manny Pacquiao in 2019, exactly the same. Um, he's just a little yapper. Uh, and I've always found the bigger the dog, the less they bark. Uh, but Chihuahuas, they're going to yap. Um, it's all for show. And uh, then he goes to talk about uh, Jam Jamel Charlo a little bit. He asked him, does Jamel Charlo ever fight again? He says, I don't think so. I actually think Charlo's had a breakdown, um, a mental breakdown doing drugs and alcohol. Uh, that doesn't help. Or uh, letting things out of your partner. Um he said, or letting things out on your partner. Um, that's why I won't jump on the bloke uh, too much right now. He's going through a hell of a time. Um, what if anything would bring him back? Uh, his money. If his money runs out, if that happens, maybe he'll uh, he's back because clearly it's all about money for him. Not legacy, but there is unfinished business between us. So he does need to sort all his shit out. All right. End quote from Tim Zoo. And that's big facts again before. Uh, Jam Jamel Charlo hurt his hand. That fight with Tim Zhu was done. We were supposed to get Jamel Charlo versus Tim Zhu for Undisputed, all of the belts. And unfortunately for Tim Zhu, it didn't transpire like that. Then the opportunity to fight Canelo came up for Jamel. And like I said, you can't duck, uh, t you can't duck Tim Zhu for uh, a tougher opponent. Potentially, know you're facing a loss, but definitely for a big payday. Um, but because it's Canelo Alvarez, that's just my opinion. But listen, Tim Zoo, 
standing on, you know, he's standing 10 toes. He's standing on a square. <laughs> he believed these guys are pussies at the end of the day. And he's not getting a lot of blowback for it. And I don't know if it's just because these guys don't really want to say Tim Zoo's name or whatever the case may be. Um, but I think Tim Zoo's coming. I think uh, he beats Keith Thurman on March the 30th. Um, uh, maybe even in dramatic fashion. I, I do believe Keith Thurman has a little something left in the tank. The footwork is has always been a problem for anybody. And like uh, uh, Keith Thurman mentioned, Tim Zoo doesn't have a lot of great footwork. He is a bit flat footed. Um, and that could spell some problems early on in that fight. But I think eventually down the line um, in those later rounds, uh, Tim Zhu uh, imposes his size, power, and, and, and uh, skill set on uh, Keith Thurman and gets him out of there. If not, um, gets a unanimous decision. All right. So all I got for y'all on this one, man. Big T.O. Heavy Bag. Most definitely let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm out of here. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.